Hi everyone, I'm so glad you are watching this video. Pastor Chad here and we are in some interesting times, aren't we? We're so glad that you get to listen in and we get to share God's word with you today. I don't know about you, but a famous phrase in my house and certainly whenever we travel was, are we there yet? And maybe our phrase now is, are we done with this yet? Um, are we there yet? Is this over yet? Uh, that's going to be the question of our children and even of us many times. Uh, one time when Sarai was really little, maybe about two years old, she was asking, are we there yet? And I said, well, we'll be there when you count to 30. And so she started counting to 30. And the first time she got to 28, 29, 31, 32, she just completely skipped over 30, which was excellent because we were not home yet. So she uh, just kind of kept counting and we said, you better start over, you missed 30. So the next time she started counting to 30 and she got to 24, 25, 26, and then she saw something outside that was really interesting and she stopped right there, which was really good because we were not home yet. So then she remembered she was supposed to be counting and I said, you better start over, honey. So she started at one and got all the way up to 30 and we were finally home. Maybe you can relate. Are we there yet? Is this over yet? How is this going to end? Well, the Israelites felt a little bit this way as well as they were wandering around in the wilderness after Moses brought them out of Egypt. They were excited to go into the promised land. They were not excited to eat manna and quail anymore. They were ready to make it into the promised land. Are we there yet? Is this over yet? When? Is this going to be over? And so we read from Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 19. This is how it went. Then, as the Lord our God commanded us, we set out from Haran and went toward the hill country of the Amorites through all that vast and dreadful wilderness and that you have seen. And so we reach Kadesh Baran. Then I said to you, you have reached the hill country of the Amorites, which the Lord our God is giving us. See, the Lord your God has given us, given you the land. Go up and take possession of it as the Lord, the God of your ancestors, told you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Then all of you came to me and said, let us send men ahead to spy out the land for us and bring back a report about the route we are to take and the towns we will come to. The idea seemed good to me, so I selected 12 of you, one man from each tribe. They left and went up into the hill country and came to the valley of Eshkol and explored it. Taking with them some of the fruit of the land, they brought it down to us and reported, it is good land that the Lord our God is giving us. But you were unwilling to go up. You rebelled against the command of the Lord your God. You gr grumbled in your tents and said, the Lord hates us. So he brought us out of Egypt to deliver us into the hands of the Amorites to destroy us. Where can we go? Our brothers have made our hearts melt in fear. They say the people are stronger and taller than we are. The cities are larger with walls up to the sky. We even saw the Analekites there. Then I said to you, do not be terrified. Do not be afraid of them. The Lord your God who is going before you will fight for you as he did for you in Egypt before your very eyes and in the wilderness. There you saw how the Lord your God carried you as a father carries his son all the way you went until you reached this place. 
See, the Israelites saw the enemy. They were worried they could not conquer the enemy. And we have an enemy. The president said so yesterday, except our enemy is an in invisible enemy, the virus, the corona virus. But God promised the Israelites that he would be with them, that he would walk with them, and that he would conquer the enemy. And he reminded them over and over and over again, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. I am with you. I am your God. And he reminds us the same as well. Do not be afraid. I am with you. I am your God. And then he ends with this powerful image. As a father carries his son all the way, you went until you reached this place. As a father carries his son, God our Father carries us through this trying time, through this time of, of wondering, when is this going to be over? Are we there yet? Can I go back and play with my friends? Can I go back to school? Can I go back to my sports? Are we there yet? Well, we will get there. We will get to the other side of this, just as the Israelites made it to the promised land. And God reminds us through this valley, do not be afraid. God bless. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.